on the crawler. So nice. You know what you're doing on that thing? That's for your head, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, it's just one. It's just tight. You got it? Yeah. Nice, good job. Alright. So, what yeah. is. You can get it by hand now. So, your car hasn't been running, so it's not gonna be hot. I got it. He'll be good. Yep, perfect. Now, just hold on to that thing. And I'll go get you a rag. Thank you. Uh-huh. There you go. Uh -huh. Yep. Good job. There's your rag. Yep, just leave it. Just set it right in there. Yep, perfect. Didn't quite get that, but Liz did an excellent job. Okay, took it off. I'm on myself. Yep. Let's see what we got up in there. One down, two to go, basically. Got the oil change on the RAV. Now we're gonna do the windshield wipers on that thing and change the oil in the Subaru and the uh, Mike Chevy. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got a new vehicle added to the fleet here at the homestead. New little Subaru, it's a 97, I believe, Outback Legacy. It's getting a little old driving the pickup around. Um, it got terrible fuel mileage and the ride was just so bad. It actually has one ton springs in the back of that, so the ride is just terrible. So we ended up getting this thing for cheap. It has high miles on it. It's got 190,000 miles, automatic transmission, pretty good oil leak few little quirks to it but overall shouldn't be a bad runner by any means but we're just gonna try to go through the thing and see what we're working with here oh it's even got a block heater in it i just found that hanging down here so that's cool i'll have to get this tucked up out of the way but as you can see i'll zoom this out here it's pretty wet underneath here and i can't tell where it's coming from so maybe if we have a couple of subaru guys watching i don't know if there's anything you know in particular that goes bad on these 96 i think it's a 2.5 liter i'm just gonna poke around in here some more so here's what we maybe have you can see there's a drip there i'm assuming that's like the head then we're gonna go over to this side we have a drip back in there which i think is also on the head so i'm just gonna try to tighten up like that bolt and that bolt, it looks like somebody's already monkeyed with that one. Let's see if we can get a wrench on that. Do the same on the other side over here. Got the oil drained out. Spun a new filter on there. Let's get up top and start adding some in. Okay, we're going to hit it with some of that good good. You know this stuff works because it tells you that it works right on it. So, because this thing was a little leaky, we're going to put this stuff in here. Lucas products are actually pretty good, so let's go for it.
dog. Yeah. I did it. Good job. So since we just changed oil, we are going to turn this maintenance required light off. So Google says, hold down trip and turn the key to the second position. Keep holding for 10 seconds. All right, so I was just holding it and it flashed and then shut off. So then we'll start the car and see if it worked. They're off. Perfect. Let's see if the windshield wipers work too. Oh, flawless. Cool. So we got all the vehicles caught up on the maintenance it was really cool to do that some of them were just a little bit behind i know liz's car and the pickup were behind and that i guess they were all behind the subi was probably behind right. if we're being honest yeah. so just kind of got to do it all at once yep so they're all up to date you know it's one of those things that if you want to keep your vehicle on the road for a long time or anything with an engine really if you want to keep it running for mm -hmm. quite a while right. you just got to do that stupid little maintenance you know the tedious stuff for sure but yeah. it does, it is worth it especially going into winter time up here like getting mm -hmm. snow and stuff it's nice to make sure your vehicles are taken care of right exactly mentioning winter time we have a few things to do on the subaru Seems like there's a noise coming from the rear end. Um, we maybe have some Subaru guys that might know anything. Uh, comment down below if you got some thoughts on this, but the rear end is making some noise. I know there's a fuse to put in to like make it two-wheel drive, so I'm gonna try to make it two-wheel drive mm -hmm. and see if that helps. Um, and then that's the only thing. Oh, the oil leak that we showed you. Um, maybe if that's anything that's like consistent. It's a 97, 2.5 liter. Yeah. And did you see anything like with the oil leak when you were down there? I tightened a few bolts. A few there bolts. was like three or four bolts I could get to that mm -hmm. I kind of snugged up a little bit. They weren't like loose, but they weren't super tight. Right. So I snugged them up. So mm -hmm. we'll see. We did put the stop leak in there. Hopefully that slows things down just a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after a little research, I think we're due for a head gasket pretty soon. So... We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. We will see. Yeah. We appreciate you guys watching. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. Um, it sure does help us. And yeah. yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.